Hello everyone, welcome to another GitHub tutorial video. In this tutorial video, I will show you how to generate new SSH key and add it to GitHub. Now, before this, you will need two things. So first thing that you will need is a Git bash, uh, which is basically a uh, terminal for GitHub. So make sure to download this for Windows if you're using Windows. If you're not using Windows like I am currently, you need to go and download the open SSH client. This is the most popular open source software used to connect via SSH. You know, you don't need to worry about your operating system because this is installed on your Windows and Mac. So you'll need again, Git bash, which is this right here, and you'll need an open SSH client. Now, as you can see, this is how it's going to look like right here. And you will need to just go and you know download it. So that's basically what you need to do. Obviously, now, once you uh, do that, you need to fire up a command prompt on Windows or Terminal or on Unix-based systems or on your Mac. Now, if you're using Linux, most distros have the shortcut Control, Alt, and T to open up a terminal. Now, after doing this, you will get this right here. Now, what you'll need to do is you'll need to run a following command to generate a local SSH pair of keys. This is the command right here, as you can see. Now, it's time to tell you a secret. Obviously, as you can see, no one can really remember this command. Most developers have it to Google it every time because it's a really long command. It's forgettable. So basically, you can just go here. Now, as you can see, the SSH Kagan command is basically uh, the command line tool used to create a new pair of SSH keys. You can see it flags with SSH Keegan help. Also, this right here, which is the second part of the, um, you know, um, the second part of code is used to indicate the algorithm used to create a digital signature. And then you have C, which is uh, a flag used to provide a custom comment at the end of the public key. Uh, and then obviously you have your own user uh, email, right? Now, obviously, then you'll be asked to for a passphrase to add to your key pair. Now this adds an extra layer of security. So you can obviously go and, uh, you know, uh, you know, screenshot this or whatever. This adds again, an extra layer to your security. Uh, it is not obligatory to add a passphrase, but it's always recommended. This is what the process will look like. So as you can see, this command will generate two files in the directory you selected. Commonly, uh, you know, the files will look like this and the public key with the .pub extension and the private one without an extension. Now, obviously, once you add SSH key to SSH agent, make sure SSH agent is running in the background. And again, uh, you're going to, again, do this um, into your uh, terminal. If you get message similar to this, if everything is fine, it means that SSH agent is running under a particular process. Now you can add your SSH private key, uh, the one without the extension right here, as you can see. Now replace Kinsta keys with the name of your SSH key, obviously, and also your email address right here should be uh, different as well, obviously. So once we have that, we need to add SSH key to GitHub account. So you need to copy your SSH public key to your clipboard, which is going to be right here. You can open the file where it's located with a text editor and copy it as well, or use the terminal to show the contents like this. Now from here, just log in into your GitHub and go to your settings. From your settings, go to your SSH and GPG keys. And from here, just add a new SSH key and just paste it right here. As you can see, it's going to be like that. Now, usually the device uh, you'll use the key from um, will have this as well right here. So you can just paste that and add the SSH key. So that's basically what you can do. You can also test the SSH connection with a repo push. Uh, again, you can copy the uh, SSH code right here. If you go to code SSH, you can copy this and the clone. Uh, basically, you can clone the repo using the terminal. Just go here and you know paste it right here git clone and then you will have this right here and then now you can add h1 tag in the index html file right here and you can try it out uh, this way you can also try it out with this as well uh, and yeah uh, you can just go and select git push that will push and test your ssh key so that's pretty much how to generate new ssh key and add it to github if you have any questions or comments you can always comment down below and we'll see you in the next video.